So vaccination in multiple myeloma is still uh, a no man's land. Um, aside from the fact that we know that all patients should get flu vaccine. So the flu shots are universally recommended. And we also have a consensus that vaccinations after autologous stem cell transplant are necessary. We do not recommend vaccination with live viruses for patients with multiple myeloma because they are at risk of getting that viral infection. Overall, multiple myeloma patients are at risk of infections, both bacteria infections and viral infections. And this happens because the disease in itself causes the patient to be immunosuppressed, along with the fact that anti-myeloma medications can also increase this immunosuppression level. So we have to be careful with the vaccinations that we recommend to our patients. As I said, there's no consensus for pneumonia vaccine, hepatitis, and other viral uh, vaccines, but um, they're not uh, contraindicated. Live vaccines are contraindicated. We now have shingles vaccines that are non-live viruses, so those can be given to myeloma patients and their household members but we don't really know if they work. So this is a, a puzzling question. One important thing to note is that for shingles, your household members, if they are to take the live vaccine, they shouldn't. They should always opt for the non-live vaccine because otherwise they can contaminate the myeloma patient.